Welcome! <laughs> What's happening everyone? Back here at the Black Rifle Coffee Content Ranch. About to put on my friend here, SPF Jesus, because it's bright, it's hot, it's sunny here in Texas. I'm, uh, I'm waiting for the rest of the crew to get, get here. I've got a couple people coming to help me out today because I'm gonna live stream here while I'm at the range. So if you guys wanna leave me some uh, comments or text me some suggestions and some videos that you might wanna see, my number is 615. 488-4894, that's my community number. Again, text me at 615-488-4894. Um, and another thing we're gonna do today is uh, while I'm live streaming, I'm gonna try not to give away the frame rate and everything so that you guys can leave a comment below what frame rate you think the slow motion is because that's how I'm gonna start giving away cool merchandise like t-shirts, hats, coffee, and all that other good stuff. We also have uh, some product shots that I'm doing out here for some um, coffee commercials for us at Black Rifle Coffee and everything. So, uh, man, got something really cool today. Really cool. Um, Maybe, maybe I'll just wait for people to start showing up. That way I can actually hold it and, and hand it to you. Yeah, enough rambling on. Yo, time warp jump, bam! of a load <laughs> didn't even cycle the bolt all right so today I have something interesting <laughs> to say the least. Uh, if you've seen like the, the SpaceX launches and everything, the little grid fins that come out the side of the rockets, this isn't nearly as cool, but it's same concept, right? Got grid fins here, 3D printed. So this was made by my buddy Kyle Hounsel. He's actually working on a couple of other projects with me. Um, but we got a cool little, uh, little projo. I don't know what you would call it. I'm, I'm really curious to see how this is gonna fly because it's not completely sealed off around the sides and everything. This isn't the first 3D printed thing that I've done in the past. We did some 360 things with the, the balloon. I think the balloon and the stuff that Brandon did at Brandon JLA, they, they were the first two 360 uh, spherical videos on YouTube. So you have to check that out. I'll put a link to that in the description below. We've come light years, light years ahead of that. But um, Man, I, I, I have no idea what's gonna happen here. Hopefully it flies pretty far. I got a GoPro Hero Session 5 inside of it. I'm gonna control it remotely with my iPad here. So hopefully we'll save it. I've tried doing a mortar video three times and each time I've launched it, I've completely smashed the GoPro Hero Session. So hopefully this gets preserved and we're gonna launch it off the side of this little cliff hill here thing probably about 500 feet in elevation. We'll see. The way it's gonna go in, spring loads, spring loads inside. And the idea is similar to an RPG-7. So whenever whenever you have the, the Projo come out, the stabilizing fins come out and it starts rotating the warhead and that centrifugal motion is what initiates um, the explosives inside of it or the fuse. Uh, same thing with uh, 40 millimeters, but they don't have the uh, stabilizing fins on the side of it to initiate it. They just they just rotate coming out of the barrel. Um, but being that it's 3D printed, I got a feeling that this dude, if it even comes out, like like I could I could shoot this thing and it 
just stay inside and not do anything. We have to go back to the drawing board and figure out a back plate or something on it to be able to get it to launch forward. Hopefully it goes without anything. If not, you know, this is, this is Gen 1. We'll probably go through three different variants of this and uh, have a little bit more of a, a cool video down the road. So like, we'll go from this to maybe a mortar tube or something along those lines, maybe get a cannon and uh, set it up here on the hilltop and then just try to see how far we can shoot it off with the GoPro inside of it and everything. Okay. You guys set? You guys set? Everybody good? <laughs> there goes the fin. Everybody good? <laughs> there goes the fin. <laughs> That's hilarious. Thong. for a softer landing for these things, but instead, let's shoot it off of a cliff onto a bunch of rocks and see if it survives. Maybe find some rattlesnakes out here. I'm like, when I'm, I'm, like I'm that person who carries an iPad around. Here, let me take a selfie. <laughs> let's see if this dude's still rolling. The body's in good shape. It just, the, the grid fins broke off. Still rolling, yes! Okay. The other problem I've had with these is the, if you've had a GoPro take like a, a blunt force trauma or a significant shock, it like doesn't put the wrapper on the end of the file and it makes it almost impossible to recover. Boom, we got it, we got it, yes. Small victory, small victory. That's like the first time that I've launched a GoPro I actually got to save the file. Uh, all the mortar, all the mortar shots thus far had just destroyed the cameras. Um, sweet. So this is this is promising. Three of the four grid fins broke. I'll grab this other one. You check this out. You see where this? And the springs are just super, super strong on this. But this is this is Gen One. Come back. We'll revisit this, dude. That's great. Small victories, small victories. It's probably like everyone probably is underwhelmed by the footage. I'm just glad that I finally launched a GoPro that I, it actually made it. Bam! Oh snap. Little lady can't get no privacy out here or what? <laughs> um, let me know what you guys think about these uh, 3D. Oh, now you're, now, you're, now you're back here with us, huh? Now you're back here with us. <laughs>
comments. <laughs> Let me know what you guys think about these 3D printer tests. Uh, there's a ton of stuff Cal and I want to do. Uh, a lot of this is working towards a bigger thing. Like a lot of these videos from the Can Cannon to the 20 millimeter stuff with the the uh, Vulcan and everything's building up to one really epic video that I've probably been working on for the better part of 10 years. Um, it's I'd say arguably the most requested video I've ever had. So uh, smash the like button, clack it, whatever you want to call it. Show it some love if you like this stuff. Um, and again, we'll do this clip for uh, if you want to guess what frame rate the video uh, or the footage was for that. Um, again, I'm doing a horrible job at making these videos <laughs> short, so I'm going to try to keep them coming out. I really appreciate you guys uh, giving me your suggestions. I'm going to keep them coming. Uh, yeah, I got some really epic stuff coming this week, maybe next week, and uh, for the rest of the month. So, um, yeah. That's all I got for you. <laughs> Bye!